Hi Year 9, for your exam you're going to be asked, asked to produce a tonal drawing of um, three objects. Now, to give you some freedom and choice, you are allowed to bring in three objects. They need to be small enough to fit into your bag and to sit comfortably on a table in front of you for the exam. And the first thing you're going to need to do is arrange your objects in an interesting way. And that's going to form the composition part of your picture. So if you arrange them in a very methodical and boring way, all separate, then your drawing is going to be as such a bit methodical, a bit boring. So think about how you can overlap them. Um, think about how you can make your composition look a bit interesting. Maybe put some in front of each other. And it depends on the objects you've chosen. But if some of them are tall, um, you might want to position them behind the other ones so that you give yourself a bit of perspective. So think about how you lay them out. Um, and maybe you could have objects that you like and are personal to you. Um, I also, when you get start, want you to think about when you get started drawing, don't draw it tiny in the middle of the page. Okay, that's not good. Um, try and use the, the full uh, piece of paper and use the page. And depending on the objects you do and you choose, remember the things that you've learned in art this year. So things like objects like this one that have circles. When you look at them from a side-on view, they're going to have an ellipse, which is that shape there. So it's a flattened circle. And remember what you've learned about drawing ellipses, making them even, um, and also curving the bottom of, of rounded and cylindrical, cylindrical objects to make them look 3D. Right. When you get started, so if I was drawing this collection of objects here, I would um, draw lightly to begin with, and that's really quite important. Because if I do need to rub out any mistakes, then I need to start off with a ni nice light drawing. And the first thing I do is just lightly and roughly plan out where things are going to go. So I'm going to use the whole page, so my feather is going to go right across the page. Um, and it's overlapping the whistle nicely, so I'm going to put that in. I've chosen objects which are personal to me. I like birds, I like trees, so I've got um, my feather and my leaf there and I've also got things like the keys which are personal to me and obviously important to my everyday life so I'm just going to plan where things are going to go at this stage I can see the keys coming off the bottom of the page so too much so I'm going to rub it out and just work back into it and get it to straighten up a little bit and make sure and I might even move the key a little bit so that it fits onto the page and have it come in this way so you can really quite quickly plan out where things are going to go and it's not going to look great at this stage but then you can work back into it and start to actually really look at the shapes of the object start to make them look more 3D and you'll really need to concentrate on the objects you're drawing as it's an observational drawing task right some things to watch out for do you crop or do you not crop? If you've got large objects, you could crop them. But don't put things so they're just a little bit cropped. So if I was drawing the cup and just had it just a tiny bit cro cropped off in the corner. Oh, this is really rough and quick, this cup. If I just had a tiny bit cropped off, that just looks like you've run out of space on your page. If you want to crop something, deliberately crop it. So crop it and crop lots of it so that it actually looks like that's a deliberate decision and that you haven't just accidentally run out of a bit of space. Um, do overlap objects and do make sure the objects are in proportion to each other so you know don't at the moment I can see because this is a really quick sketch my whistle is a little bit too big actually and I need to, it to be in proportion with the other objects on the page Blue Peter Stiley here's one I did earlier so here's one I started earlier so my objects are in proportion I'm filling up the page um, I've started to use varied tone so I've got highlights on there where the objects are shining so the top of this leaf here is light so I'm going to leave it to the white of the paper and where it's got the shadow underneath I'm going to add more shade to it carefully and bear in mind you're going to have just under an hour to do this so set yourself enough time to get a decent drawing finished don't work for too long on one little aspect of it really think about how to use and plan your time so you're going to have to work reasonably quickly and work into those lines so that you're going to make these outlines look as if they're no longer an outline but just an edge by shading them in and adding the shadows in underneath. It's good to have the shadows of the objects as well if you can. Don't overdo them. You don't want them to be the main part of the drawing. You want the objects to be that.
but having the shadow just grounds the object and makes it actually look like it's solid and actually sitting somewhere. Use varied tone, use dark to make edges stand out, use highlights to make things edges stand out as well, like on the edge of this whistle, um, and use your mid-tones to get all the shading in between. That's really important that you show that. Go with the direction of the object, so looking at the feather, the little quills come out this way, so I'm using directional shading to darken up the feather and to actually make the details look like they're feathery type details. So actually look at which way you put the lines. Um, and then finally, that's your list of do's, that's pretty much it. Uh, and you don't, so things to avoid, try not to do really heavy outlines to start with. Try not to rub out loads because you don't get marked for rubbing out, you get marked for drawing. So draw lightly, work back into it and just rub out when you really need to. Um, try not to do the drawing too small, so use the full page. And then finally, try not to simplify in cartoon objects. Try and draw it as realistically as you can. And good luck for your exam. Thanks very much for listening.